What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we started on the Draconic Evolution Fusion Crafting. Yep, we were upgrading our Fusion Crafting Injectors to the Wyvern tier. So we have all of those done now, which is pretty good. Uh, we were looking at trying to get into the Project E section here. I believe we wanted to work towards the energy condensers. Um... Well, at least that's what I want to work towards today anyway. So an energy condenser will allow us to get into EMC and make our lives a little bit easier, I think. The energy condenser, though, does require the Draconic Tier Fusion Crafting Injectors, right? Uh, so we have to upgrade these guys one more tier before we can even jump into that. I think that's where I want to start going. So if we take a look at the uses for the Wyvern Tier... We can see we can upgrade it to the Draconic tier with this recipe. So we need 14 of these upgraded. Well, we only need however many for that recipe, but we're going to do all 14 of them, which means we need 14 Awakened Draconium blocks. Right. So we set up the Awakened Draconium chickens a while ago, and we have 90 Awakened Draconium blocks. So that's not a that's not a big deal. Let's, let's search for Fusion Injector so we can just find the recipe this way. Okay, so we need diamonds. Those are easy. Then the wyvern cores. We are going to need 28 of these, which means we need 28 nether stars. Mm hmm So currently, we have six. Well, eh, not quite enough, right? So we have six of those. How about skulls for more wither skeletons? We have 36. So that'll get us 12 more stars. So we'll be like 10 stars shy at that point. So really what we need to do at this point... Let's figure out how to get some more Wither Skeleton Skulls so we can fight more uh, Wither Bosses to get more of our Nether Stars. So, if we look at um, Wither Skeleton Skulls, we can see we can get them through these Withering Souls, which I think we might have some of these, but I'm not sure I want to use those. because I think, yeah, those are used for the Nether Star Cruxes. So we can grow nether stars later, although we'll probably be able to EMC for them. So I don't know. I feel like I just want to hold on to these until I know for sure what we're doing with them. Uh, mystical agriculture, if we had the wither skeleton essence and we had blank skulls, we could make them. That's a lot of wither skeleton essence. I don't even think we made the seed. Yeah, we need the wither skeleton chunk, which means we need wither skeleton skulls on a tier five chunk and... Ah, uh, I mean, we could go down that path, but I'm not sure we want to do that. The other option, though, is legendary loot bags. I think this is how we've gotten all of our Wither Skeleton Skulls up until this point. I'm fairly certain. Um, so that comes from the legendary one. Let's go take a look at our loot bags. And actually, before we go over there, let me grab some kind of a chest, maybe a double chest. Or do we have a storage crate? Ooh, this is probably going to be better. Let's do that. A little bit bigger inventory. That's the wrong path. This one. All right. Oh, I uh, ended up swapping out my magnet. We had the awakened item dislocator, or the second tier, whatever that one's called, and I swapped it for the the lesser one. Uh, yeah, I was over in our <laughs> in this area here where our chickens are. Um, yeah, I was looking at our crafter right here, and I was pulling in drops from the mob farm. With the other one, my inventory was starting to fill up full of different things. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, that one's just got a little bit too far of a reach on it, I think. But uh, I have it stored in the system, so if we ever want to use a further reach magnet, we have it. But yeah, this one still works pretty good. I think this pulls from like 10 blocks away or something. The other one pulls from like 30. It's a little bit crazy. Anyway, um... So where were we going? We were going to do the loot bags. So we have 37,000 loot bags in here. That's a pretty decent amount, I think. So if we place that down here, and then we fill our inventory full of these guys, we should be able to shift right click onto that and hopefully get some good stuff. Oh, we can't shift right click on this, huh? Really? We can do it on a regular chest, I think. Hold on, let me clear up some inventory space. Chest. We can shift right click onto this one, right? Okay, so you can shift right click onto that. We got one growth crystal tier three. So let's grab, do we have translocators? Do it this way. We'll, we'll kind of cheat it. Not really cheat it, but we'll get it around the system. 
And then we need one glowstone. One glowstone dust. Still can never remember the uh, the correct button combination here. To pull one item at a time from refined storage. So anyway, now we can shift right click on this. And those are all going to the storage crate over there. So our little space chest doesn't matter because all the stuff ends up over here. So we ended up with seven wither skeleton skulls. That's not bad. Uh, we can continue to fill up our inventory full of these things and do the same thing over and over. But you can see the amount of loot bags we have. That number is dropping quite rapidly. So hopefully we get the amount <laughs> in a decent amount of time here without having to go through too many of those loot bags. So those, that's 18, so that's six more skulls, or I mean six more wither bosses. Uh, Alright, so let's do it again. We needed, I think, ten more, wasn't it? Something, something like that. Hopefully we get lucky on the skulls from these. See a few skulls going in there. Okay. Now what, we got 28, so we have nine more. Well, we're getting there, definitely. We have so much of this diamond armor, my goodness. I guess all of this has EMC on it, so we might hold on to that for when we get to that point, which is going to be very soon, I think. Let's do another inventory full of these, and hopefully that will that will do it for us. And drop all that stuff in there. Okay, very good. And 32 skulls. So that's 10 plus an additional two Wither Skeleton skulls remaining. I think that's going to do it. I think that's good. Let me get some more of these uh, growth crystals if we want to make our farm a little bit better better i suppose we've already got so many of those over there uh anyway so let's grab those then we'll do the rest of the skulls from here so now we can do 22 wither bosses that's pretty good now we need the uh, soul sand to go with it and to set this up in the mining dimension so we can what just happened there Something like that. Anyway, set this up in the mining dimension so we can get the rest of our stars. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So now we have our extra stars in the system. We have a total of 28 of those. We should be able to make ourselves the cores that we need. Uh, oh, you know what? I guess we don't have recipes, and I think... Well, it looks like we had four of these things in the system already. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some patterns for those. So the wyvern core, we can make a recipe for that. I don't think we had a recipe for the draconic core in here, so let's make a recipe for both of those. We'll find a spot in our crafter manager thingy here. So there's that one, and here is this one. Right, so going back, we needed... Uh, two of those for every one, so we need 14 of these recipes total, so we need 28 of these things, so let's do core. Uh, so we're going to need 24 more of these guys. Uh, control, shift, middle click? <laughs> Alright, I think so. 24 starts, so 24 stars available. We are missing draconium ingots. Really? Uh, draconium... Okay, so we have 2,000 Draconium ores, but I guess we just don't have enough of the actual Draconium itself. Uh, we do have some of this stuff. We can throw through this furnace, so that should be okay. That should get us the extra that we need, I think. Yep, a little bit of Draconium dust in there. Does the Draconium have EMC? It doesn't look like it does, does it? Hmm. Or does anything show EMC in here, I wonder? Diamond, does that show EMC? Okay, it does. So yeah, the Draconium doesn't. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, so going back to the core, we wanted 24 of those. Is that enough? No, we still need a little over another stack of that Draconium dust smelted. Let's just smelt all of the... Well, I guess two more stacks. It should be fine. I was going to say smelt all the dust we have, but yeah, two stacks is more than what we needed, so this should be okay. All right, so we try one more time, core... <laughs> 24 of those, and we are good to go, so we'll start that up. Uh, so people are saying that we can do this, and they're all done. <laughs> it does look like it's using a lot of power on the core when you do that, like it's blinking off, but it definitely makes the crafting go faster, so I'm definitely happy with doing that. Definitely. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's keep going here. So we need some diamonds. Uh, I guess we're going to need 48 diamonds. Diamonds actually 48 56. I don't know. I'll just grab I'll grab a stack of diamonds. That should be okay 
Uh, and then we need 14 blocks of awakened draconium. 14. All right. So we should have everything we need now to upgrade our wyvern fusion crafting injectors to the next tier. Uh, so let's get over here. Actually, that is. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we only need seven. Seven different injectors to do this. So we can break these guys up. Let's put 16 in each one of those. We need to split those like so. But 14 of those right there should be fine. And then just drop these into here. Pedestal tier too low. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. My mistake. We need to swap out our crafting injectors. Why does it say pedestal tier it's so low? It should say the injector level is too low, shouldn't it? Anyway, these need to get going, get out of here, get gone. Uh, we need seven of these guys. Oh, I guess <laughs> that's the quest that we didn't claim yet. So place these guys here. Just seven of them. All right, so now we do the same thing. Add these items back to these guys. And that one right there. So that should start up. Now everything's happy. So I'll let these run through. And then I'll swap, uh, yeah, the wyvern ones with the draconic ones and run the rest of them through. Anyway, should be able to get this done here very soon. Well, let me wait for this crafting to finish up, and we'll be right back, guys. So all of the draconic fusion crafting injectors are now made. Mm -hmm. And I decided to move our timer down a block. Yeah, so we have the timer down here, and I made some of this redstone conduit. In fact, I just got done making ourselves a, uh, whatever, the redstone alloy chicken. Yeah, it was just silicon plus redstone. So I made one of those. I 10, 10, 10 it. So now we're getting those resources in, which we haven't gotten before. But anyway, we're pulling the redstone signal up from underneath and into the bottom of the block through the redstone conduit here, just so we have some more space. Now, the next recipe we're going to be doing here... This is the energy condenser. This is, well, this is what we're going to be trying to get to anyway. This requires us to have 10 of the injectors, right? So we only have nine, and that's the maximum we can have per side. So we need to have another side. I was thinking we we're going to put it over here, but it kind of just made more sense to have it closer to the wall because this is probably the side that we're going to be least likely to walk against. Anyway, so one space away. One space away, this is where our fusion injector is going to be. So let us put just something that we can place this up against. And we'll place this guy right there. And obviously this doesn't take a redstone signal. So yeah, we'll have our 10th one right there. And if we need more, we can just kind of like make the three by three on this side over here. So let's also grab um, the flux, the stuff, the cryostabilize. Does this have EMC on it? It doesn't, ding. It's like all the things you want to have EMC on it doesn't have EMC. Then we're also going to need a point over here. Uh, like so. I would just wrap the cable around, but we're running out of these things, so I don't have a whole lot of them. So I'll just make a separate connection here until we get to the point where we can make more uh, of the cryostabilized flux ducts ourselves. So yeah, that should be that should be okay. So it gives us 10 spots available at this point in time. Uh, so let's see. We need to make the alchemical chest before we can move on here. Yeah, we have to put the alchemical chest in the fusion crafting core. So that guy requires these different dusts, which I remember not being so bad, but also requires evil infused ingots. Now, this is an item that we get through extra utilities to the enchanter. We need to put eight iron plus another star to get the evil infused. Let's just make sure that we don't have any of the system. Okay, we don't. Do we have an enchanter? I'm not sure if we've gotten these through rewards or anything like that. Just want to double check before we make machines. So, yeah, the enchanter is a machine we need to make next. So an enchanter from Extra Utilities 2. That looks ra kaboomering. <laughs> that looks rather inexpensive. I think we should be able to make this thing. So let's do a machine block. Well, I guess we get four of them. And then we do this. What book is that? Fire protection? I guess that's fine. I don't really care about fire protection. All right, so we have an enchanter. This does also require power. And if I remember correctly, requires um, like bookshelves or magical wood. Do we have magical wood? We don't. Do we have 
bookshelves. Uh, we don't have any books either. Hmm. Can we make magical wood? Because I think you just need six of those. I think that's what we want to do. Uh, how about paper? We only have two paper. <laughs> Sugar cane? 266. Is that going to be enough? That should be enough. That'll get us a stack of books. I think that's going to be more than what we need. Uh, all right, so there's that. And then we needed, well, I guess let's take a look at book recipe. It is different per mod pack. So we either have 64 leather or 64 string and 120 blank patterns. That might be the way to go. Uh, so how are we doing on the string situation? Leather. Yeah, we should do... We should do the Tinker's Construct method. So we need two stacks of those. Perfect. So we should have everything together to make a full stack of books. And there we go. All right, so now we need to make bookshelves. And I'm just going to make six of these. And then we're going to try and turn those into magical wood. Now, I do believe it's gold plus that in your inventory grid, like your 2 by 2 will make the magical wood. Yep, and then it uses some experience as well when you do this. Okay, so there's our six magical wood. Very, very easy. Now, this is just going to be a temporary thing, obviously. We're not going to keep this here permanently. But you can see the magical wood is emitting those particles. So the enchanter should be able to see that. Um, so we wanted to take, was it six or eight iron ingots? I think it might have been eight. So eight iron ingots plus a star. Should get us the evil infused stuff that we're looking for. And that's going kind of slow. Do we have any more of the speed upgrades? We have a bunch of these. How much, um, we have no grid power. We haven't done a single thing of GP, so I can't put any of those in there. Otherwise, this thing's just going to stop. Um, yeah, we'll have to look at making grid power here at some point. Do we have dragon eggs? We have dragon eggs. Uh... Dragon egg pedestal. Isn't that what it's called? I can't remember what that machine is called from extra utilities. This one. Dragon egg mill. So that does require two more nether stars. So pretty much you make this thing. You put an egg on top. You get 500 GP. And then you got a lot of the GP to work with. But yeah, we can't really spend our stars at this point. So we'll just wait for this thing to finish up real quick. All right, so there's our eight evil infused iron ingots. Those are completed. So the energy condenser, again, the alchemical chest, we should probably be looking at this. Alchemical chest. Let's get that in our recipe here. So that required the evil infused ingots, the diamond chest. Let's make a diamond chest real quick. That is a fairly simple task to do. So there's an iron chest, and then we have to do a gold chest. And then follow that up with the diamond chest. Okay, so that's easy. So we have that part. Uh, so bottom row is done. We need a diamond lattice done. We also need some stone. That's easy. We got plenty of that in the system. So now we need this covalens... Covalens dust? Covalens. I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> um, so yeah, this requires an empowerer. This is something I wasn't expecting. So we do need to get into actually additions in order to make this stuff. That shouldn't be a big e issue. Like none of these recipes are crazy. Uh, and then this, the high version requires coal plus infused diamond, which is a diamond surrounded by dimensional shards. So if we go into here, dimensional shards, we have plenty of it. Yeah, we have all of this ore here. So we can just go ahead and just toss any of this around like so just make sure it's all connected and vein mine it and now we have all of the stuff okay so we have plenty of that no big deal now if we didn't have all of those um <laughs> the recipe for these did require prismarine shard yeah we didn't have a lot of those i was thinking we might have to make the chickens or whatever but or we could sift sponges for it <laughs> uh the chicken is just water and lapis so i think uh, if we don't have that chicken, which I'm pretty sure we don't, we should make that chicken, but we don't have to do that since we already have the dimensional shard ores. Anyway, so we have that stuff. Um, so pretty much the next thing we need to do is look at getting into the empowerer, which is a little bit more crafting here. So we need these iron casings, black quartz. Do we have black quartz? 
we have all of the black quartz, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, getting back to the empowerer, the display stand requires this quartz, so we need to get ourselves an atomic reconstructor, the laser machine. So that is nothing special here, that just requires power. So let's make the atomic reconstructor. Doing all sorts of things I didn't think we were gonna be doing today. You know what, I'm just gonna make a bunch of these iron casings because I know we're gonna need them. Okay, uh, so atomic reconstructor, so there is this guy. That, generally speaking, you wanna do like either a pressure plate in front of it or a button, some kind of a redstone signal. And then you also need a redstone torch to change the mode so it's not just firing all the time. So there's a redstone torch. I'm going to go with the button method because I just prefer that. Uh, so let's do... Yeah, just stone, I guess. I was trying to decide if I want to do stone or wood. Let's just do a stone button. So that'll turn that on. This will change the mode of it. We are going to need a point in order to power it. Okay, so that's all of that stuff done. So let's just throw this down somewhere. Figure out where this is going to go permanently at another time. Uh... Put the button on top, I guess we'll just put the power on the side. Something like that should be fine. Oops, this one. Okay, so you can see it's just firing the laser all the time. And we don't want that, so we're going to have to right-click it with this. So now it's set to a pulse, so now it should only ever fire when we press the button. That's what we want, so it's not just wasting power and making noise for no reason at all. Okay, so we have that done. Um, So now we need to make ourselves the... Display stands. I think we need five of those. Okay, so that requires us to have this quartz. So that's regular quartz thrown in front of the laser, and that turns into the uh, the other type of quartz. So we'll just make like a stack of that. Probably way more than what we need, but let's do it. Okay, so now we have this. Now the other is the green variant. So we need chiseled quartz block. Do we have a chisel? No. I think, well, there's a vanilla way to make the the, um, the chiseled quartz, I do believe. But we'll just do it this way because it's simpler in my opinion. So we'll grab this stuff. We'll open up our chisel, put this here, and then we'll do that. Okay, so there is a stack of the chiseled quartz. So we'll just throw that on the ground, press the button real quick before a magnet picks it up. <laughs> okay, so there is that. So now let's get rid of the chisel okay back to the display stand we need like five of these things so let's open up we'll do that oh we don't have any more of the black quartz so again we can just place down a bunch of those and then vein mine it not a big deal we got lots of these resources maybe in the future depending we might set up some kind of an auto fortune machine i know you can do that with refined storage fairly easily so we might look at doing that anyway so there is oh oh my that didn't happen the way i thought that was gonna happen uh all right so let's take a look at the uses of this do we just have to smelt it or maybe we have to pulverize it in order for it furnace painting machine sag mill turns into the crushed alloy smelter so if you smelt it you get the quartz directly uh, pulverizer, yeah, the pulverizer seems like the best method because then you get the actual quartz stuff itself. Uh, is it over here? I think we put the... Nope, not all of our machines are over there. we got to start moving these things around and getting these things set up properly. So here's our reinforced pulverizer, so we can just throw this in here. Now, we only needed, I think, five of these, but I'll just let it do the entire stack here. We'll just grab, like, ten of them just in case so we don't have to come back here again. Uh, all right, so there is those guys. Right, so now that we have those, we should be able to make... Oh, you know what? We also need these redstone things, don't we? That's easy enough to do. That's just redstone dust running in front of the laser. Uh, let's just grab like a stack of that and do that as well. And I'll turn off my magnet because that is going to affect this. All right, so that is those guys. All right, so now we can do this. We need like five of these. And we take those and wrap that with gold nuggets. Like a soul. There's five of those. All right, so now we should be able to just throw all those in here and make five display stands easy. So now that those are done, we also have to get the empowerer. 
this one. We just need one of these guys. So this requires a little bit more crafting. Uh, so we've made those Inori crystals is just iron thrown in front of the laser. Just iron ingots. So those are pretty simple. Uh, yeah, let me just craft this stuff up real quick and then we will be back. All right, guys, so here's our empowerer. Yep, so we have the empower in the center. We have the display stands two blocks away in all four cardinal directions. And then we have power conduit going to the bottom of all of these things. So we just need to turn these things on to, or turn this on to fill up these things full of power. And then we'll turn that off. Yeah, so now they are gaining power. So all of those are now full and they should stay full going forward. So we'll just fill in all these blocks here so we don't see the underground conduit powering everything yeah there we go very good so now these are pretty much good to go um so we can look at making these different types of dust so we need one double compressed cobblestone surrounded by four redstone how are we doing on cobblestone do we have we don't have the double compressed in here so let's make nine of those one of those so there's double compressed and then we need redstone Okay, so one redstone in each of these. And then we need the double compressed right there. So there's no laser beam being shown because this is a custom recipe. But normally on the default recipes, there would be a laser beam shooting from the display stands to the center. Uh, anyway, so there is one of them. So the medium one is redstone around a base essence ingot. Base essence ingot. We have that on auto craft. Very good. And then red stone once again okay so base essence ingot and then more redstone around the outside and while that's cooking up let's look at the next recipe and that one is coal around the infused diamond so we saw that we can make the infused diamond no problem one of those like so infused diamond and then we needed was it coal i think it was coal four coal around that guy all right, let's grab this out of there. So the infused diamond and then coal. Yeah, that looks like the right recipe. It is sparkly and you can kind of see where the laser beam should be. <laughs> anyway, so we have all of that stuff now. Let's put that in the system. And if we tell it to make an alchemical chest, we can now do it very good. Okay, so now that we have the alchemical chest, we can start looking at these other different things. So dark matter, red matter, Crystal chest, dirt chest. So dirt chest is inexpensive. Crystal chest is a diamond chest, which we made earlier, surrounded by glass. Easy. Red matter is a lot of dark matter with this ethernalis fuel stuff. And that is with a philosopher's stone and the Mobius. The philosopher's stone with the alchemical makes the Mobius. And then philosopher's stone with the coal makes the alchemical coal. Okay, so... We have the Philosopher's Stone. I don't remember if we made any of that fuel stuff before. It looks like we do have some of the Ether now it's fuel. Okay. Uh, so we need to make pretty much a lot of dark matter is where we are right now. Uh, so yeah, that is the Ether now fuel wrapped around a block of diamond makes one of those. So it is quite expensive. It takes a lot of coal and some diamonds. Let me go and just craft that up real quick. We have all of the resources. Just going to take a minute. Let me do that and we'll be back. All right, guys, so we are just completing quests left and right. So we have red matter. My goodness, that took thousands, thousands of coal in order to make all of this stuff. Uh, yeah, I was starting to get a little worried there with the amount of coal that we were using, but we were able to uh, get through it, and we still have coal left over, so it's not a big deal. So there is four of the dark matter, four of the red matter. There is a dirt chest, 9,000. And there is the crystal chest. Okay, so now we just need to put the alchemical chest in the center of this guy, like so. And yeah, everything charges up. This one charges slowly. You can see how slowly it goes. Because it doesn't have multiple of these cryostabilized connections. And there we go. Now it's all finished. Now we have an energy condenser. So the energy condenser is a recipe or <laughs> is a quest item, I guess. But this will allow us to take certain items that have EMC, dump it in there, and convert it to other items that have EMC, so we can take nether stars and turn it into iron, or we can take a whole lot of iron and turn it into another star, right? So these are going to be really good. Now, it doesn't happen super fast, 
Uh, and there is a MK2, a Mark II version of this chest, which will be uh, an upgrade. So we'll look at that here in the future. But first, let's go take a look at all these quests that we knocked out today. And I think we might have done more. Yeah. So we did the Wyvern Fusion. Let's claim this. We got the Draconic Fusion. We'll claim that. Back in the Project E section, we just did the Energy Condenser. We did the Alchemical Chest. And we did Red Matter. Okay. So let's pop these. So we get Black Lotus. That's fine for Batania. We get some speed upgrades. Eh. Uh, photovoltaic cells. Okay, that's not bad if we want to do more Solar Flux Reborn. And all these have EMCs. So I guess that's probably going to be the most valuable thing is the, the rewards that we get that have EMC. Uh, viaducts. And then followed by Epic Bacon. Well, we can make all of the Epic Bacon we want. It's only 176 EMC on it. So that is not a big deal. In fact... If we take that and we just grab, I don't know, some iron. Iron should have a decent amount. Yeah, we'll just throw some iron in there. So one epic bacon goes here to set the recipe, and then we throw iron in here, and the the chest takes the iron, converts it into EMC, fills up this bar, and starts turning it into epic bacon. So now we have literally all of the epic bacon we could ever want. Our chickens are constantly making iron, and the iron can... It actually has higher EMC than the bacon, so that's really cool. I like it. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today. We finally got into a little bit of Project D, a little bit of actually additions, and we got a little bit further in Draconic Evolution. We're making some progress. I like where we are. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.